Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel Eternal EC Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 7 Looping Structure. In the looping structure, in this video, you are going to learn for loop for each loop. First of all, what is the looping structure? Looping means executing a statement or a group of statements multiple times. I'll repeat again. Looping means executing a statement or a group of statements multiple times. So in writing a program, there may be a situation to repeat a statement or group of statements multiple times. In this situation, the programmer can select any one of the looping structure which is available in PHP for loop, for each loop, while loop, do while loop. So, we are going to learn the structure and working nature of all the four loops and based on the situation, as a programmer, you have to decide which loop will be suitable for the particular requirement. Is it clear children? First point, looping. What is looping? Looping means executing a statement or group of statements multiple times. How many looping structures are available in PHP? Four. For, for each, while, do while. We'll see first for loop. For loop is an important functional looping system which is used for iteration logics when the programmer know in advance how many times the loop should be should run simply as we know looping means execution of multiple lines multi execution of a statement or group of statements multiple times that means it is going to execute repeatedly so in a situation if the repetition is known that means if the counting is known uh, it is 1 to 10 times, 20 to 25 times, or 100 times, 200 times. If the counting is a known thing, then it is advised to use for loop. What is the structure or the format that is said to be syntax of for loop? For is the keyword followed by open bracket, close bracket. Within that, you have to say three things. One is init counter test counter, increment counter. So for keyword followed by open bracket, close bracket. Within that, you as a programmer, you have to mention three things. Init counter, test counter, increment counter. Open curly brace, code to be executed. That means the statements, one line or more than one line, everything should be within the open curly brace and close curly brace. Now you are going to learn what is init counter, what is test counter, what is increment counter. Init counter means initialize the loop initial counter. As we know, counting means it is going to start with a starting value like 1 to 10, 20 to 15. So starting value is given by the init counter. Then test counter. Evaluate for every iteration of the loop. That means, as we know, there is a starting point and an ending point, but all the control structures like if, if else, if else, if or switch or any looping structure like for, do while, while, for each, everything will have a condition. So based on that condition, the iterations will execute. Each iteration, that means for each count, the condition is checked. If the condition is true, it will execute or else it will come out of the loop. First point, it must have a starting point. Next, it must have a test counter. Third point, increment counter. We know the starting point, then we have to reach the ending point. To reach the ending point, we need an increment counter to increase the starting value. Sometimes it may be a decrement counter also. It depends upon the situation. Simply we need three things. One is initial value. Second one is a test counter. That is the condition. Third one 
increment counter that is the updation counter. This is the flowchart for the for loop. Initial action, initialization. Next, condition is checked. If the condition is true, it will execute the body of the loop. Then you go for the updation. That is increment counter. Again, it will check the condition. If it is true, it will execute. Again, increment. Again, go for the condition. This statement is going to be repeated again and again until the given condition is true. If the condition becomes false, it will come out of the loop. This is the working nature of for loop. Here is the example for a for loop. For open bracket, close bracket. First one, initialization. Dollar $i, it's a variable, starts with 1. Next condition is i less than or equal to 10. Then i++, plus plus. that means it has to increment 1. Within the um, body of the loop, only one line is given. Echo, the number is dollar $i br tag, that means the number is 1, then there must be a break. Next execution will come in the next line. So, first is initialization, next two point is condition checking. First, i is equal to 1. The condition is 1 less than one less than or equal to 10. Okay, so condition is true because 1 is less than 10. If the condition is true, it should execute. So the first output, the, the number is 1. Next it is BR. Cursor will come to the next line. After this, it has to go for the increment counter. Now, I will become 2. Okay. Again, it has to check the condition. So, now 2 less than equal to 10. So, condition is true. True means it has to execute. So, now again the number is 2. Again, it has to go for the increment part. Now, I will become 3. Again, condition checking. 3 less than equal to 10. Condition true. So, execution. Execution, the number is 3. So, it will keep on doing this until 10 less than or equal to 10. Am I right? Because 10 is not less but equal to 10. Up to this, the condition is true. So, we will get an output like 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6 up to 10. After that, what will happen? After printing 10, the i will get increment. So, i now will become as 11. So, it has to check 11 less than or equal to 10. Now, the condition is false. So, it will come out of the loop. So, output for this program is 1 to 10. So, we will check with the PHP example in our example software. So, start the exam server. Echo start starting point for loop i equal to 1, i less than or equal to 5, 
uh, i plus plus the number is then the end how to execute as you know it take the browser type http localhost followed by the program name program name is for loop dot php is it clear so here the end value is 5 so start first line is executed next to 1 2 3 4 up to 5 is given then end if we change this value as 10 we will get the number 1 to 10 okay is it clear children now we will see what is for each loop for each loop is exclusively available in php it works only with arrays so this is the plus point of for each it is only available in php and it works only with arrays i hope you will remember the arrays we are having three types of arrays in php indexed array associative array then multi-dimensional array the loop iteration depends on each key value Pair, key value pair in the array for each loop iteration the value of the current array, array element is assigned to dollar value variable and the array pointer is shifted by one until it reaches the end of the array element we'll ex i'll explain with the example it's very easy syntax the syntax is for each keyword followed by open bracket close bracket dollar array means array value name as dollar uh, value this is a value of for loop this name is given by the array this is a user defined variable i can change this uh, name for my wish see the example dollar seek this is the array name equal to array this array is having three elements for each array name as dollar x this x can be changed but i cannot change this name because it is predefined name for the array in this program so array name is first as another variable Three, two things should be here i'll repeat for each followed by open bracket close bracket first you have to write the array name as another variable name as you know this is the indexed array all elements are fetched using the index value this is index of 0 1 2 but here we didn't mention any starting point ending point array value for each itself will assign everything so it is a easy task for us and it is a beautiful thing less coding just we can use a for each keyword we can give the array name it will fetch the elements automatically dollar x will fetch 18 first then 20 then 32 we'll see the example see the example uh, for is given i commented this but in the for there are three things right but see here in the for is nothing like that we have to give only the array name followed by a variable name here it is x then do, echo dollar x that means print the x value followed by uh, br br for the next line execution so here we execute for each loop dot php why the names are coming along with 18 20 30 means there is a program here here this is for uh, integer values am i right here the uh, array values are a uh, string that means set of characters names are given same procedure as this array name here also array name as one value name here is value same procedure whether it is a uh, integer or a character same procedure 
for each array name followed by a variable name. Then print the variable. It will print one by one all the things. We have to use br tag. Can you see this? So for each is very much useful while we work with array variables. So in this video, you have learned for loop and for each loop. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this channel, subscribe this to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a good day.